Hello, dear friends. It's Wednesday, April 3rd, and no, I'm not in a hotel room or at our kitchen table this morning. I kind of ran out of time, and so I'm in my car, and in a few minutes I hope to uh, drive to Pearson Airport, uh, and then with a, a quick flight to Sault Ste. Marie, where I, Lord willing, hope to be there a couple of days. We have a couple of congregations in Sault Ste. Marie, uh, uh, Good Shepherd and The Gate, and I'll be particularly spending time with the folks of Good Shepherd in these early days of their life together. So appreciate prayer for all these folk. And uh, then at the end of the week, I come home and then I fly to Montreal and drive to Lennoxville, Quebec, uh, where on Sunday morning, Lord willing, uh, it will be my joy to officiate at the ordination to the priesthood of Matt Court, who's the deacon in charge of St. James Lennoxville, and as of that service will become rector. So this is very exciting, and I know uh, St. James and, and Matthew would appreciate your prayer. I want to thank you also for your prayer for last week uh, in Vancouver. We had good meetings all through the week, and I'm very grateful. I also wanted to say that one of the people that was not able to be there was our canon for prayer support, uh, canon Garth Hunt, who uh, became ill a few days before we were to travel to Vancouver. And in fact, on his 75th birthday, March 25th, I was visiting him uh, in in the hospital, uh, and of course, the, in fact, that led to him having uh, surgery later in the week, uh, which was minor surgery, but nevertheless important, and I'm happy, successful, and now he's home and uh, doing well. Appreciate prayer for Canon Garth. We're so grateful for his ministry, uh, for his monthly uh, prayer calendar, which he looks after, and his uh, teaching on prayer, which is posted posted every month. Uh, we just really need prayer. That's the, uh, the basis of everything we do. And I'm very grateful for the leadership that Ken and Garth gives us in that. So do pray for Ken and Garth and thank God for this man who truly loves the Lord Jesus. I find when I'm around him, I'm just blessed and encouraged every time. Well, we're thinking about, uh, I am thinking about this Lent, particularly forgiveness of sins. Uh, and I, uh, the verse that's on my mind this week is 1 Timothy 1.15, where Paul, uh, writing to his young protege Timothy, who's now giving leadership to the church in Ephesus, says, The saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. 1 Timothy 1.15. Well, I think when you say the saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance, uh, you are underlining, bold print, highlighting, capital letters, trying to draw attention, and to not only say this is important, but this is true and worthy of your complete confidence and faith. What is the message? The message is, Jesus, the Son of God, came into the world, what? To be a savior. Why? To save what? To save sinners. If you're not a sinner, then this message has no interest to you. But if you realize that in fact you are, and the Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, then you know this is of the greatest importance. Paul said of whom I am the foremost, acknowledging the fact that in the strategy of God, God looked for the worst, uh, the one who was the persecutor of those who believed in the Lord Jesus and chose him to be the means to prove that forgiveness works in every case. Dear friends, search the scriptures and discover the glory of forgiveness of sins in Jesus. And then open your mouth and tell others about him. God bless you this week.